The Prophet ﷺ said, as we mentioned in the last episode, in Rabbaki yuhibbu al-hamd, that your Lord loves to be praised. In another hadith in At-Tirmidhi, the Prophet ﷺ said, Sallallahu min fadlihi, fa innahu yuhibbu an yus'al. Ask Allah from His bounty because Allah loves to be asked. And the Prophet ﷺ said, wa in afdal al-ibadah, intidar al-faraj. And the best form of worship is waiting for the relief to come from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Is that period of actually waiting for the relief to come from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That you're in a state of worship in those moments. Realize in Surah Al-Baqarah when Allah mentions to us dua and Allah mentions to us sincere supplication and He loves to be called upon. This is the way that you'll usually hear this verse. That when my servant asks of me, then I am close to him. I answer the call of the caller when he calls upon me. So usually this ayah, this verse is given to you in the context of, look, Allah is close to you, Allah will answer you. But if that ayah was just cut short and it just said, وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِي عَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ That if my servant asks of me, then I am close to him. That in and of itself is the biggest blessing that comes from your dua, is the qurb, is the closeness part, that you are close to Allah. That Allah removes as every other reference in the Qur'an, then tell him or tell her, respond on my behalf, O Messenger of Allah. Here Allah does the direct response and Allah says, فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ I am close to you. And that's the greatest gift that can be given to you as a result of you calling upon him. How Allah answers that dua is secondary to the fact that you have a direct connect with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you have a Lord that loves to hear your voice. Allah is shy from the hands of his servant and Allah loves to hear the voice of his servant. And that's why Umar, may Allah be pleased with him. He says, Inni la ahmilu. He said, when I make dua, I don't really care about the response. I do not concern myself with the response. The only thing I concern myself with is ham dua is the ability to make that supplication. Because if Allah allowed me to make the supplication, then I know that I'm in a good place. Then I know that I'm in a relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the ability to call upon Him and knowing that Allah loves to hear me, despite how broken I am, despite how sinful I am, despite, despite how distant I am, Allah loves to hear me. And there's a beautiful saying from Ata, may Allah be pleased with him. He said, Mata atlaq Allahu lisanaka bi talab fa'lam annahu yuridu an yu'tiyak. That anytime Allah unshackles your tongue to allow it to ask, anytime Allah allows your tongue to move, anytime Allah allows your tongue to request, know that Allah wants to give you something. Because Allah would not have allowed you to make that dua unless He wanted to answer that dua. And the greatest gift of that dua is that Allah loves to hear it and you get to be closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as a result of it. وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِي عَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ أُجِيبُ دَعْوَ تَدَعِي إِذَا دَعَانِ And so when you call upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He is close to you. That's the first gift. The second gift is that He answers your call in a way that is befitting to that call, in a way that's in your best interest, in a way that's beneficial to your world and to your hereafter, and does not put you in a more detrimental situation because of your limited scope. So let them answer me and let them believe in me so that they may find guidance in their lives, in both their worldly actions and more importantly, in their religious affairs. So again, the Prophet said, Ask Allah from His bounty because you have a Lord that loves to be asked. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us amongst those whose tongues and whose hearts are always connected to Him, both in praise as we mentioned in the last episode and in request as we mentioned today. Allahumma ameen. Jazakumullah khairan. See you all next time, inshaAllah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi